Hey yo, Cancer. Someone that's playing for you is wants and needs. So now listen, you could be in a situation that it's like you got a nice understanding of what you want and need out of Aries feminine. Now look, you could be associating yourself or it's like you got a passion. And that passion it kind of brought you a better understanding of yourself and what you require out of yourself or just out of a partner, out of a relationship, out of an endeavor, whatever role. It's like you put it in and you know what you deserve out of what you put in based upon what you put it in. You feel me? Or you may be wanting someone to receive your wants and needs. So you could be communicating and expressing yourself in a certain type of ways because it's, it's like you want someone to have a better understanding of you. And some, you feel me? Or that's what someone wants from you. It's like someone wants you to see them. You feel me? Yeah, you put your foot, you know what we're talking about, though, Cancer. It, it ain't even a card out for real. It's just going based off the song. You feel me? Yeah, put your foot, though. Someone might not feel as abundant as they used to feel with you. Or you may be in a position where you don't feel as abundant in a space and or situation as you used to. You feel me? When you're in this environment with these people, it's like once upon a time, you may have had like a high energy but now your energy is kind of more mellowed out and ironed out in a space and environment. And now it's like people kind of want you to have that same kick you used to have when it came to you being there. But it's like it's kind of like it done tapped out, dried up. It's like you're not expressing your truth here now when it comes to these people, this person, all you feel me, whatever it is. You feel me? You know what you got going on, though, cancer. It's like you got it. You got a whole lot of fire, but it, you're not showing it here. But at the same time, you still may, it's like you're open and receiving from your environment. So it's like you're not totally blocked off from your, you ain't cut everybody off type shit. But you still, you're more cautious about who or what you express yourself towards. And it's like here, you know, you want to be new here. You might not be able to invest in new ideas and new expressions with this family member but you know you could take this idea and this emotion this feeling you could share with this family member because the way they'll receive it it's like it won't put you in conflict you feel me it won't give you no type of internal struggle about what you express when you share this emotion with this person versus when you share this emotion with that person because that person they got a certain type of energy or what they might say might and go against how you actually feel and then they gonna throw you in some sort of internal battle you feel me you ain't trying to go through all that so, you know, all right, I could be new here, can't be new there type shit. You feel me? You just going to keep giving people what you've been giving them because someone maybe it's like you may not be in a position where you don't throw the whole relationship away. Whatever it is, the song that's playing is already. But, you know, when it comes to this cycle in this relationship, you've been through that already. You've gone through that enough. Look, if you've gone through that enough to know, all right, let me stop. Let me come different. Maybe it's time I switch some shit up. You feel me? If it's like that or if that's how it is when you're taking yourself somewhere. So you're not taking your new emotions here. You might have had this friend you always express your new ideas with. Or it's just you always invested. Look, back in the day, it made you, it brought you higher spiritually. Something made you feel real good when you shared or invested your emotions with these people. Only to find out you shouldn't have been investing in your emotions into those people. Because it's like the same way you were pouring your water or you was like showing them, yeah, like, oh, yeah, check this out. They was taking it and throwing it out, trying to keep keeping you from always investing in that. You feel me? They always needed you to give to that feeling, that idea, this relationship. All right. So all we got to do is keep this empty and cancer going to keep pouring into it. So that's what they was doing. Every time you turned around to get another bucket, they poured it out. They got you poured it back in. They put, you feel me? It was like they were playing a game with you. I'm up the road. I'm lurking for them boys. No library. Yeah, look, you, you ain't seen no wealth in that shit now. Because it was almost like you was caught up for a while in a loop. Someone had you in a loop. Whether you, unless you ain't had yourself in the loop. And look, I'm telling you, you was, your mind was not on, on the right type of time. Or someone's mind was not on the right type of time with you. And then that shit came full circle. Now it's, show, it's reflecting upon their character. They, these people they really ain't had no influence. This person really ain't had no influence. And if they did, it wasn't the type of influence that one would want to receive. You feel me? It wasn't the type of wealth and abundance that one would want to receive. Someone's mind is way in the gutter. They can't think positive about nothing in their world ever since that happened. 
if that ain't you. And that that could be you. It's like if it's a solo battle, you could be in a type of mind or a perspective where it's like you observing how you've been communicating. You've invested so much into this type of expression. Whether it was trying to get a message across in a certain type of manner or just trying to express yourself to your world a certain type of way. You feel me? It's like you was working extra. You put in a lot of leg work in this only to finally come to the conclusion it's time to do something different. He with that again? Yeah, you had to let go of a home, Cancer. Look, because there was no love there for real. And you listening to your inner voice. You got it's time to birth anew. Because you got you a little opportunity on your mind. And it seemed like you got some wisdom after all the dishonesty, after all the lies, after all the, all the false that was occurring in your world. Whether the false was your action or the false was an action of another that you allowed to influence you. You come in different now. You come in, you planting a new seed. You expressing a new thought in your current community. It might shift how your current community receives and or expresses themselves towards you. But it's like, you know, this is what you got to do because this is what you actually feel about. You feel me? Time you invested in was not a good investment yesterday. But today's a new day. Oh, that's too ain't going. Yeah, look though, look though. Something you invested in yesterday was not a good investment. Whatever that was. And that shit, look, that shit might have humbled the fuck out of you for real. The moon in reverse, the empress in reverse, boy, that shit, look, I'm telling you, it was something you was communicating to your world where in that shift, that shit shifted. You know what you got going on for real, cancer. Hey, that, that was too much. We don't put that back. I just need one. I just need one. You know what I'm talking about. Don't let me tell you none. Can't tell you none. It was something you was expressing though. Something you was projecting to your world or something you might have had some sort of obsession with. Whether again, that, that obsession could just, could have just been a pattern you were obsessed with. You always put yourself in a certain type of cycle. You feel me? And it's you finally in a position to observe what that brought you in your world. And now your intuition is not letting up when it comes to you, you better do something new. Yeah, yes, that's you telling you that shit. You feel me? You, it's it's time. You whatever that means. For you. Look, it's time for what to make some shit happen. But in order to make some shit shape, you gotta express yourself differently. And you know what that. Well, you know what we talking about cancer. And you, know? you know if you're trying to put yourself in a certain type of environment, look, you because you look because you know something make you feel real, real. Real good, and you don't want to let that go. So, yeah, you could be thinking, or somebody thinking on plotting on you because they see you moving. Someone could see, yeah, look, someone hurt. Who hurt? Put your foot about a week <laughs> to the beat. Yeah, you know what you got going on, though, cancer. Someone is, uh, it's almost like if you're dealing with people outside of you, the that's playing is Batman. See, you might have end up be in a position where you kind of keeping it low key about this manifestation or this action or what you about to express, what you about to do, where you about to put yourself. Because it's like someone outside of you real deep, they drowning in their feelings when it comes to the fact that you not there with them anymore. Or it's just the fact that it's like you can see you're aware now of your emotions and how you feel and what you want out of life. It's like someone ain't want you to wake up type shit, but you up now. If it's a solo battle, you got, you thrown in your mouth, drowned, you was drowning in your shit. You feel me? And it fine, but that brought you to a new point. You had to drown in the shit you was putting yourself in. All the feelings, all the emotions, whether those feelings and emotions were based off of things you were expressing yourself. Look. All the unbalance you invested in passionately. It was some sort of action you were doing. Whether it was just a consistent day-to-day -day cycle with a person, with your damn self, with your own mind and your own chemical makeup. You feel me? Your alchemies, you was doing all the, the, the luck. Whatever you invested in, you changed your perspective about it because you lost a lot. You lost a lot of time, lost a lot of energy. You was bullshitting. If you know you was out here bullshitting, then you, you know you was out here bullshitting. That's why, look, you getting up now. You know it's time to get up. You got to make some shit shake for real. You feel me?
And if you're dealing with someone outside of you, someone outside of you, they, they watch, it's like they watching you get up. And as, as they, you getting up, they laying the fuck down. And you know, look, because they know, they know they did, did you, did right by you. Fuck. <laughs> look, someone know they did you dirty and it's a burden. It's a burden because they in hell about that shit. Because they just watching you. They can't say none to you because they did you wrong. Whoever you dealing with, yeah, they know they did you wrong. Cancer, they did you wrong. And yeah, put your foot though. Gonna put those back. It was just, it was, look, the way it was flowing. Floor the boy shit. Look, yeah, they did. Now watch yourself. Someone could be trying to put, find themselves in a position to spark up an argument with you. You feel me? Because they see you going on this little new endeavor, expressing yourself differently. Putting yourself out there on your social media's different type of vibe, you feel me? Oh yeah, somebody watching you, they watch, lurking, like watching you through the blinds, like hold the fuck up, cancer. Yeah, let me go start some shit. Let me go stir the pot a little bit. Watch out. Someone, someone bullshitting because they see you on one. If it's like that, if it ain't a situation where you feel like an argument is the way to go, cancer. And I don't think that's the new type of new we talking about. You, you, it's like you going to go from, all right, maybe let me stop trying to argue about this. Let me stop trying to pick on this energy. Let me pick on this energy. Hold on. That's not the type of change I'm talking about. You feel me? That's not the type of new expression, new emotional mind. Mm, go take that back to the drawing board. You feel me? If that's the type of vibe you want. If it ain't, again, if it ain't a situation where someone just being honest with themselves. Yeah, look, that shit came back. I put it back and it came back out. Something's over. Patiently. Yeah, now nah, look, if it's, if it's you... Waiting patient, waiting for your look, waiting for your opportunity to strike, cause you might have been in a position where you lost something, and it's like you ready to revisit that, cause whatever you lost has been a weight on you, or there's somebody outside, somebody outside of you hell bent, cause they you left, you gone, and you different. It ain't even like you just left, you you left, and then you not even the same person they knew before you left. So it's like, who the fuck is that? They trying to feel, hold on, what, what happened to cancer, what happened to this expression, this man, that Adam, what, what happened to the you you were showing me yesterday? I don't know who this new cat is, so they, they trying to figure out how to find, what, what, what can I express to get, get this new cancer involved with me? It's what somebody trying to, look, what, what, look, what they, what, what can they bring to the table to get cancer focused on what they got going on. Cancer, you ain't giving them not two fucks. Look, back then they didn't want to fuck with a boy, but then you waited patiently. Now look, it's not, someone fucked up with you. If it's not you, who you, it's like you might have a bad outlook on the situation because of some sort of expression or communication you might have put, brought, or invested in a space. That it's like now you want to bring yourself. It's like you want to revisit, start over, so to speak, clean slate type of vibe. Cause you might be obsessed with something. You feel me? And it's like you've been patiently waiting, but it's like you might be realizing you've been waiting for your own action. You've been waiting for you to do something type shit. You feel me? Cause ain't nobody gonna do shit but you. And you find that you you're at that point now. You gotta get up. You the magician after all. Look, and you know the truth. Make it happen, Cancer. You know what the fuck we talking about. And put your foot. Look, it's is it look, someone it's over. It's over. Whatever it is. Whether it is a mind you put yourself in and you had a certain perspective on it or outlook on a topic, subject, or situation, and you might have gone through an experience that put you in a position where you had to express yourself new. You ain't had no other choice to get through that. It brought new out of you. And that new came with the death of an old. The Grim Reaper then came through your life. I, now, someone actually could have third dimensionally died and that brought the shift. Again, if that if that's the case, my condolences. The song that's playing is I don't like. Yeah, now you know what you don't like. You used to like that whole time. That shit was not for you for real. Put your foot, though. 